Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. I'm an affiliate painter for Red Grass Games and also the head mecha and sci-fi painter for Vallejo Colors. I write painting articles for Fine Scale Modeler Magazine. I also write articles for Fantasy Figures International Magazine. Lastly, if you're into Gunpla, do use my discount code for usagundamstore.com. Links down below. Today, I'll share with you the painting of this Philippine map. It's a province in the Philippines. This was commissioned by the, our Philippine Army, so salute to the Philippine Army. We got like really good feedback so far. We've done around 8 Philippine maps and our provinces and it has become a bit bigger. The tiles here were like 20 by 20 centimeters. Now they're 30 by 30. I decided to paint with primers. Of course, I primed this with Mecha Gray Primer at the start so that it will be extra durable. And then the colors, the main colors, the browns and the greens were painted with surface primers because I thought those were the most efficient in terms of painting because you thin them one is to one with my thinning sauce. Thus, you get more paint out of the bottle. Also important to note, I have this in one of my videos like what to select in terms of airbrushes. I'm using a 0.4 airbrush here. But as you can see, in terms of once you get like a, the hang of it of using the airbrush, you could use it for detailing work like I'm doing the outline of the maps with the 0.4. But also I'm painting the whole thing like the, the main colors with the 0.4. It's a matter of like learning how to control the airbrush. Um, you could like pull the airbrush trigger for more paint or push for more air and then you could like move away a bit farther from the model that you're painting so that you get more paint and then you move um, like closer to the models or in this case the map and then pull a bit less on the trigger so that you get to release less paint thus you could detail paint with the same brush so basically learn to control the airbrush the dual action airbrush and then once you learn the controls very well you're really good at it you could detail paint with the same brush and you could do the base colors with the same brush painting these maps are fun it's super fun actually and also we got really good feedback from our commanding general which was a bit of pressure because and because it's the commanding general also it's a bit time consuming in a way but the pace good and also who can say no to the army <laughs> so so the painting of these maps have evolved a bit we, we try to make it more economical on our side in terms of the paint use but we still use fully like Vallejo colors but we paint it differently these days so I said at the start of the video that painting with the primers as base colors are the most economical. I am so wrong. Now I needed to learn how to use the model colors and game colors which are formulated for hand painting to, for use with the airbrush. So basically now I thin them around 6 to 8 parts thinning sauce and just one part model color. It's, it's going to be really thick. I highly advise you mix it on a bottle or glass or a separate container before you put it on your airbrush cup. But it is the most economical. It's like painting six parts to one part. So meaning you get like seven more parts with just a drop of paint. Also in terms of the washes, I am now using the big bottles of game wash. If you know that, that's like 200 ml of game wash. I have to request more from Vallejo but because I bought them myself. So that's more economical instead of using the, using the model wash which is really tiny in terms of using it for the maps. You can see here my very talented daughters they are helping me with the detailing of the shores, the edges of the map and they also help me with the washes. Lastly, a major tip in painting yellow because the army wants the main roads to be in yellow. So now I paint with model color Japanese uniform World War II paint. And then after that, I paint Scrofulous Brown game color on top of that so that the coverage is better than other yellow paints. 
As for the rivers and the shores, we paint it turquoise so that it's very graphic and the army can see clearly where the rivers are and where the main roads are so that they could attack efficiently. You could also see here that we painted white gray for the lesser than main roads. It's a very opaque paint. I highly recommend that model color paint. That's it. We're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos! Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel.